Hello everybody, welcome back. Good afternoon, good evening, and good morning to wherever you may be. Um, yeah. This is kind of the oddest video so far. And I kind of just want to title it, but I know I'm not going to, Murphy's Law. Because in doing this video, everything that went wrong, or at least everything that could go wrong, actually went wrong. And yeah, that's where we are now. It took me too long to actually make this video and the weather that actually kind of uh oops, oops, laughs in judgment. The weather that actually accompanied this video was not the best, but eh, I kind of worked with it. <sighs> uh, it's difficult to actually really say. I wanted to make this video outside and, you know, just avoid a little bit of quarantine or at least get out of the house. And that's kind of what I did. Luckily, I have about two acres of land behind my backyard at the moment, which allowed me to actually be outside without any physical presence of anybody. I hate how that, how that kind of worked, but eh, I kind of did it. So throughout the video, I just had to work with what I had. So you'll end up seeing a lot of my head and shadows because I was facing the wrong direction when I was recording everything. That kind of, you know, messed everything up. And even when I try to experiment with the lighting or at least try to compromise it a little bit, it doesn't really work that well. So I'll just, uh, you know, make do. I think I've said that about four times so far. Well, that's kind of how I ended up doing. And on the same token, the brush pens finally decided to, you know, not work. And I had to stop recording and cut out and everything else in between to actually get these things to work. And my hands got dirtier and dirtier and dirtier because of the Indian ink that I was actually using. And I began to run out of water. The brushes decided to dry up. You'll see that a lot throughout the video, which gives me a bit of a headache, but... Eh. I mean, I would ask what could I do, but I did exactly what I could do. Um, the tentacles, or at least the tendrils that I wanted to make throughout the piece kind of worked a little bit better than I thought especially with um, the ink but it wasn't dark enough and I didn't want to just keep adding on to a piece that I wasn't fully satisfied with so you could kind of consider that another failure for me another thing that you'll end up noticing is small hand all throughout the video or at least a little ref uh, reflection of a hand as well on the glass to the um, left. Uh, that's because my very young cousin, Keon, uh, kind of snuck up on me because we live in the same neighborhood. And he likes what I do, and he ended up just sticking around for the rest of the video after that. Eh, pretty fun. I wasn't really... I didn't mind about it. But I was getting more and more frustrated as the video went on and as I kept going but I knew that if I could push through it it would turn out uh, much better than what I originally thought it would so that's kind of where I've been since I finished the video it's fun but yeah it's ah. again it's a little frustrating I want to say I got frustrated because food and water ran out four days ago, but uh, it didn't, so I can't do that. Oh, well, that's, yeah. Well, uh, I genuinely think this quarantine is starting to get to my head now. Uh, I want to say I've been losing track of time, but I kind of don't even know if I'm doing that anymore. All I've been doing 
is just this making stuff making stuff making stuff and then going back to sleep possibly well at least that was until yesterday when I started reading and researching more about our current situation and oh boy conspiracy theories are fun really they are so fun so much in fact that I had to write stuff down and close out stuff because Oh, it was just getting to me. I think I think I'm old like that now. I think in my two decades on this earth, it's I'm finally becoming an old person. Even more than that, what I am. It's 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 odd. It's really odd. <sighs> well, I do hope everybody else is quarantined. If you are still doing it or if you have been mandated to do it I hope you are all well because as much as I can complain I really can't because everything's being done so well uh, everything is kind of being done if, if you can see my hand right now you see that it's waving kind of partially so yeah um back to the video for a second uh yeah again the sun is very bad and I kind of don't know what to say about that I'm gonna I'm, I'm gonna just I'm gonna just do the opposite it's kind of the downside of facing West okay Whew. Oh, yeah. oh yeah I also have watercolors because I thought about putting some color to these uh, black and white illustrations so uh, if you kind of haven't guessed what character this may or may not be I haven't seen Frozen 2 yet but yeah I got this idea from that so yay but um I did like the I did like the blues that I ended up using in order to uh, just mess around with the watercolor the only downside to that is even though these are watercolor brush pens uh, they don't really mix well when you add too much paint or water you have to have that perfect balance as all things should be and I didn't have it so I ended up messing up more and more and more and more and more see how deep the rabbit hole goes basically uh, it was not fun but I ended up enjoying a lot more of it than I thought and my uh, dip and dab technique ended up going awry again everything goes wrong but basically the dip and dab technique that I usually use for a lot of these illustrations end up going wrong towards the end of the video mm, that explains an abrupt cut but I y'all didn't hear that from me and even though I go all around a little bit the watercolor ended up going a lot better than I suspected I ended up adding more white um, to the watercolor in order to brighten it a little bit because if I added more water instead of more white it would end up just crackling the paper even though this paper is a hundred pounds it is surprisingly I think it's because it's uh, not vellum paper, it's smooth paper. That actually could be the reason why, now that I think about it. But more water wouldn't end up messing up the back side of the paper, and I wouldn't have been able to use it properly. So, that's how that, get, that's how that ended up going. Also, yeah, I kind of got off topic. So yeah, this is supposed to be Elsa. I just didn't color the skin properly which I kind of regret, but I regret a lot of things about this. Also, one of the biggest issues that I discovered was my ink bottle had clumped up. I don't, uh, I don't really know how to explain it properly, but the ink for the bottle of India ink that I have, the dropper 
that came with it as well as the um, rim of the bottle itself ended up clumping with uh, I don't really know I think I want to say pieces of debris that just clump together but I don't know how it actually happened and right now I can't even explain it because I don't think I caught it on camera on top of that I poured all of it out on right next to me and ugh, poured all of it out right next to me and I'm just glad that didn't run off and stain any of my clothes because Indy ink is not the best thing to get out so because of those clumps in the bottle that just made the um, clumping of my brush pens a lot worse and even then I couldn't even do anything with it so just made it made it much more worse well I kind of forgot what I was about to say that's kind of what I get for pausing in the middle of the sentence I think and we'll figure that out so um, I honestly think that's all I can really say well another way I've been keeping sane I should say is I've been watching movies with my friends on discord because that's a good way to spend your time Ooh, yeah and I am finally caught up on this little show on Netflix called the Dragon Prince because I kind of forgot that Netflix does that thing where they make multiple seasons a year and oh I was in for a treat when I decided to get my show my show game back in order so yeah that's kind of another thing I've been doing I also finished well I'm on the last five minutes of the last episode of Disenchanted which is technically season two but not really because Netflix does that thing too it's very funny and I've just been playing video games as well but the biggest thing that I've wanted to do for quarantine is just improve upon things that I have been working upon uh, working on for the past uh, few weeks honestly and I'll say I'll even go back as far as last year to say as well it's a uh, pretty fun working uh, improving yourself the bad the worst part about it is that you don't want to do too much of that in isolation because you become distance from the rest of the world and in this day and age you kind of don't want to do that uh, yeah that's kind of kind of uh, that well that's enough uh, philosophical talk for now at least and it depends on how this turns out I may have more to say not too sure I kind of should have mm, written, wrote down some stuff I wanted to talk about first but that's what happens when you impulse do stuff impulsively do things so yeah um, I hope you all enjoyed the video I hope you all enjoyed listening to me ramble for uh, I'll say 13 minutes kind of I don't know how much left I have in me but uh, I'll, I'll leave it now <sighs> see this is what happens when you don't know this is what happens when you don't sleep for like six years anyway uh, I hope you all enjoyed the video I hope you all enjoyed me ranting for this how long and I hope you all will tune in next time and be sure to like the video subscribe if you haven't too if you really like what i have to do and what i also have to say at times because i'm still shy and also be sure to share this with your friends if you thought it was a little uh even a little funny and if you're not and, and if you didn't think it was funny uh just let me know in the comment section so yeah until then uh, i will catch you all later and you all have a great day uh, morning, evening, and afternoon. All right. Talk to you later.